In this video, I show you how to change your app icons on your iPhone. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here's an example of what you can go and achieve when you go and change all of your app icons. You can create a whole different vibe and theme for your iPhone. So let's go and close off of this and let's go and get right into this. So the first thing you need to do is go and decide which app you want to go and customize the icon for first. So in this case, I think I might just do the App Store, something simple. Um, but of course you can do this to any app you'd like. Then I'm going to go and open up a search browser. I'm just going to use Safari in this case, uh, just because it's the default one. And then I'm going to go and search for like, a custom app store icon. This is what I search for, but you can go and sort of change it around a bit to go and find the best variation. Maybe there's a specific theme you'd like the app store logo about, maybe like a retro theme. So go and add that if you'd like it. Then go and tap images and we can go and view them all. So in this case, I might go and try this one here, this black one with the white um, Apple store logo. Then once you've found the image you'd like to go and use, all you need to do is save it to your camera roll. To do that, hold your finger on the app just like so, and then press save to photos. Then that's gonna be added to your um, camera roll and your photos app. Then once you've done that, you want to swipe across and you need to go and find the shortcuts app. Now you may have gone and deleted the shortcuts app because a lot of people don't use it. So all you need to do to find it is go and open up the app store just like so. You can tap on search and then you can go and search for shortcuts just like so, shortcut. It'll take, take a moment to load and then you can go and download it here if you haven't already got it. Then go to shortcuts just like so and then go to the top right and go and tap on the plus button just like this. And then you need to go and tap on add action. And what you need to do is go and search for open app just like so and go and select this one just like this. And then it's going to go and say open and it says app and you need to go and select the app which is going to be opened when this shortcut is selected. So in this case, I want to go and open up the app store app when we go and select this shortcut. It all makes sense, just keep watching. So press open on the app and go and select the app you want to go and open. For me, it's app store. Then you can go and press done just like so and we've now gone and added this shortcut. And you've now gone and created the shortcut and as you can see it's now there and, but what you need to do is tap on the three dots in the top right of it just like so and we need to go and customize this. And then what you need to do is go to the bottom right of the navigation bar and go and tap on the share icon just like so. And at the bottom of the share screen what you need to do is tap on add to home screen. You may need to scroll down a little bit to find it. And then what you need to do is come down to where it says home screen name and icon and then go and tap on the icon and then go and tap on choose photo and go and choose the photo from your camera roll which you just downloaded which you want the icon to be. So in my case, I want it to be this one here. So I'm going to go and tap on it just like so. And then we can go and change the home screen name. So I'm going to go and change this to App Store. And then you can go and press on Add in the top right. And there we go. We've now gone and customized this, then press Done. And we've now gone and created this. So now if we close off of it, as you can see, we've now gone and got the App Store app. Just here, I go and tap on it and the App Store opens. And you may be thinking, well, now I have two copies of this app if I go and drag it onto the same home screen. But don't worry because you can actually go and hide this other one here. When you go and hold your finger on an app, you go and get this option here. So what you need to do is do this onto the original App Store app. Then you can press remove app. And what it's gonna do is remove it from your home screen. Um, and you can still find it in your app library, but it's just gonna go and hide it. And then you can just have the one App Store app. 